Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sysadmin Tutorials channel. My name is David Rodriguez and today we have something very special for you. Now I want you to put your hands up if you work in the help desk or you work with some type of ticket management system within your organization. And keep your hands raised if that ticket management system just isn't delivering the results that you need. Well today I want to introduce you to an innovative AI tool that will not only save your company money, but will also improve the overall happiness for all the employees that use it. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to introduce you to the sponsor of the video, SysAid Copilot, a powerful generative AI tool that's designed to streamline and enhance your organization's productivity. So what is SysAid Copilot? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's an advanced AI solution that is truly next gen in the IT service management space. Now I'm sure all of you have heard that phrase that says work smarter and not harder. And this is definitely the case today with AI. Now SysAid Copilot leverages generative AI to help you and your organization dramatically improve in three key areas. The first one being mean time to resolution. Second, customer satisfaction. And lastly, productivity and efficiency. Now just imagine having a 24 by seven virtual assistant right at your fingertips. And this is gonna help you and your organization concentrate on more meaningful tasks. Now let's take a step back for a second. What is generative AI? Gen AI is a branch of artificial intelligence that uses sophisticated algorithms to generate human-like text, provide insights and solve problems. Now this is truly amazing because by analyzing vast amounts of data, it can predict outcomes, it can perform actions, and it can solve complex tasks, all while continuously learning and improving itself. Now this all sounds great, but let's have a look at some real world statistics. SysAid Copilot went out and interviewed a whole heap of customers that are currently using this product, and this is what they had to say. They found a 20% boost in productivity. Nine out of 10 users would highly recommend it to a friend or colleague. 90% of users are very satisfied with the AI chatbot. 100% of users state that the AI chatbot makes the process of receiving service more efficient for end users. On average, 35% of tickets are deflected each month with the AI email bot. 91% of tickets submitted to SysAid's customer care team through the AI chatbot have been fully resolved by AI. Now that's some pretty impressive stats right there, but we're gonna dive even deeper. We're gonna have a look at a real world case study with the city of St. George. Some of the challenges that these guys were facing prior to implementing SysAid Copilot were that they were outgrowing their current ITSM system. And this was due to some rapid growth that they had. They felt like they were constantly on the back foot fighting fires. The highly skilled IT team were frustrated, having to deal with low value tickets. With only a team of three and supporting up to 1,000 users, 800 endpoints, and 600 mobile devices. But to top it all off, their current IT system was coming up for support renewal. Now they had two choices. The first choice, operate the way that they do today. Nothing changes. The second choice, make some rapid changes. So what did the city of St. George do? They implemented SysAid Copilot. They saw savings within the first three months and they had a 20% reduction in mean time to resolution. Now, these are just some of the stats that I can share with you from the case study. I encourage all of you to go and read it. The link is in the video description below. Now, I know you're all eager to have a look and see what SysAid Copilot looks like. What's the experience from a user point of view and from an admin slash agent point of view? Well, we're gonna have a look at that right now. And first up, we're gonna take a look at the user view with a few examples. Up on screen is the self-service portal. Now everything's designed to be user-friendly. And we're gonna go ahead and click on the AI chatbot button. AI chat, chatbot button, say that three times fast. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and click on the AI chatbot button. Now while the AI chatbot is available through the self-service portal, it's also available through a little application that you might have heard of called Microsoft Teams, but more on that later. Okay, demo number one. We're gonna use the AI chatbot to say, I can't connect to my VPN and let's see what it comes back with. And just like that, we are given the answer. But where does this answer come from? Well, the answer comes from a combination of things. It comes from the large language model. 
It can come from previous service records within your organization, and it can correlate company data from areas such as SharePoint or file share locations. Moving on to demo number two, we can see that the user has asked the AI chatbot about his Salesforce license expiring. And you can see that the answer that comes back from the AI chatbot is to go and ask Daniel specifically about the renewal of the Salesforce license. Now this answer doesn't come from the large language model. It comes from either documents that have been uploaded to the system from your SharePoint site or from service record history. Now, if we would like to create a service record, we can do that in two ways. We can simply type into the input field, create me a service record, or we can use one click create by clicking on that hyperlink that simply says, create me a service record. Demo number three. If I'm an end user and I wanna have a look at my open tickets, so tickets that have been assigned to me, I can simply just ask the AI chatbot, show me my open tickets. Within a matter of seconds, all my open tickets are displayed up on screen and I can simply click on the hyperlink and it'll go directly into that specific record. Now we shift gears and have a look at the admin area behind the scenes of SysAid Copilot. The options that we have to ingest data into the system and this area is called a data pool. A data pool consists of one or more data sets. The options for data sets are service records, knowledge base articles, Q&A sets, documents, URLs, and even SharePoint. Adding a document is really easy. Simply click on documents and then click on add new. Select the document that you wanna upload into the system and voila, the AI now learns this document and makes it available for user queries. Now it's time to have some fun. With that document that we just uploaded, we're gonna ask the AI chatbot how to set up Citrix Lite, which is actually based on that PDF. In a matter of seconds, we're presented with the answer. Now, how do we know if the answer has come from the large language model or from a data set? As an admin, we simply click on settings and then monitor and fine tune. Here we can see our user queries. Now I'll direct your attention to the quality score. This is how the chatbot determines the accuracy of the answer. The lower the percentage, the lower the quality of answer. Clicking on the entry allows us as agents to go in and fine tune the answer. If we need to add or remove sentences or paragraphs, we can do so here. Future answers will then reflect this new answer. This is a great option because you can teach the AI to be more specific to your organization. And lastly, under related references, you can see what the AI chatbot used to determine the answer. Now we need to keep our users and our organization safe. That leads me on to a protection mechanism called guardrails. What guardrails allows us to do is set specific rules, such as no profanity, no violent content, no harmful content, and even disallow the user from elevating his or her own permissions. Let's take a look at an example. Can you make me a Salesforce admin? After a few seconds, you can see that we are guardrailed from any such permission change. Moving on to the AI dashboard. The AI dashboard shows some pretty interesting stats. In the center of the screen, we can see the amount of times that an admin or a user interacted with AI features. But more interestingly, on the right-hand side under AI touched, we can see the amount of times that a service record was impacted by an AI interaction. That interaction could be via the web interface, the AI chatbot or email bot, one-click submission or the AI intelligent categorization. Now this next stat is really interesting. Percentage the service record could be resolved without admin intervention. In this example, we can see that 219 out of 480 records were resolved with AI. That equates to 46%. Let's think about that for a second. Let's say on average, a record takes about five minutes to resolve. That's 219 times five, which equates to 1,095 minutes or 18.25 hours that you've just saved. Thank you very much for coming. Roll the credits. We are done here. Just kidding. We've got a whole heap more to show you. On the lower right hand side, we have the AI percentage where the answers were sourced internally, such as documents or SharePoint. Now imagine that you have a new starter. The onboarding process can be dramatically reduced. Traditionally, the person would need to filter through file directories and files looking for internal documents. 
Now they can simply ask their friendly chatbot a question and Shazam. What would have taken a few minutes is now cut down to seconds. What if you have users that just prefer to use email? Well, Sysaid Email Bot has you covered. This works by simply sending an email to the ticketing system at which you will get a reply back with the ticket and a resolution. From here, you can simply mark as resolved or if you need further help, you can continue in chat. We're now gonna move on to AI author. Have you ever wanted a professional to proofread your text, whether it be emails or a Word document? Well, with AI author, you have exactly that. In this example, we can see punctuation and spelling mistakes. With the click of a button, AI author can simply improve on your spelling and punctuation, change the tone of the text to casual or formal, shorten the length, or even change it to step-by-step. -step. What about ticket categorization? We don't want all the tickets to go to a single category, and we don't want to leave it up to us humans to categorize. There is a much more smarter way to do this, and that is with AI intelligent categorization. If a ticket is created with no category, such as with email, or a human has miscategorized the ticket, AI intelligent categorization will show some black stars next to the category. And what this means is that AI has found a much better category match for you. Simply hovering over the category will produce the category results. From here, simply select the correct category and the rest is history. Did I mention that there's not only one category, but you can have subcategories and even third level categories. Let's take this one step further. Yes, we have AI categorizing the tickets for us, but we still have a little bit of human intervention. Let's eliminate that completely and have AI do it all for us. So how do we do this? We go into the escalation rules and we modify the AI intelligent categorization rule. There are a heap of settings in here that you can drop down, modify, select, and query to make this happen. You can actually create as many rules as you like. What about MS Teams? What about MS Teams? I can hear you all screaming at the screen. How does it work? On screen, we have James Brown signed into MS Teams. And if you notice on the left side under recent, we have a contact called Sysaid. By selecting Sysaid, you can simply just converse with it as you would with the AI chatbot. James has asked the chatbot about issues accessing the Salesforce quarterly revenue report. Within seconds, the AI chatbot responds to James's query. You can even ask the AI chatbot to create you a service record via MS Teams. Now, I've thoroughly enjoyed learning all about Sysaid Copilot and the benefits this amazing tool can bring to your organization. Wait, 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 before you go, the wonderful people at Sysaid are offering a very generous discount and all the information for that is going to be in the video description below. I'll also be placing a whole heap of handy links that you can use referencing Sysaid Copilot. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.